What's going on everybody? This is Duracell here with another video. Today I'm showing you this car back here, which is the Weenie EC Classic. It's a really cool car. I already did some of the other cars. Uh, but of this one I'm going to do because I want to show you some unique things about this car. It's a really fun car to drive. Although don't expect it to be one of the fastest. It won't be that. But it does have its perks to having a car like this. I'm going to show you some of the customizations. I'm going to show you its performance. And it's come out. It's new with the update that they have. Uh, where they also came out with a, dri um, a rally car. As well as another new brand new uh, really cool helicopter. Which I also have made a video on. Uh, I'll be posting that soon in a little while. Uh, the bodywork for this, you can change. It has a ton of options. You can change it from chrome to carbon to black, which is pretty cool. Uh, the bumpers, it has a ton of bumpers in the front, as you can see. Now, I this one I stuck with was regular stock front bumper because I wanted it to be chrome because I stuck with the chrome on the car. Plus, the license plate. It has a European license plate, which, if you look at it, the numbers are exactly the same as the regular license plate that you have on your car as well which I thought was really cool and um so you can you know they have a ton of stick a bump over that the rear bumpers has mud guards that's what I put on mine you get carbon bumper uh even has a little splitter so if you want to go like you know make it a sporty a sporty little cute car <laughs> yeah you could do that but it's not gonna go super fast but it is really fun to drive uh regardless um, and it's definitely worth the money for sure and this one here we have the stock chassis the tour lights which I put on and then uh, rally lights technology you see it has a carbon you know a carbon street interior which basically changes up the seat see from the original to that and then um, it also has a sticker bomb interior which makes it uh, upgrades the seats a little more even so and then you have the strip race interior takes out the little seats in the back replaces them with racing seats and a roll cage in the car, which is pretty cool. Life is hard when you can have um, the exhaust actually is really cool because see, normally the exhaust would be there on the bottom, as you can see, but then you could do something cool. You could replace the signal lights and put the exhaust there. That's actually what I did with mine. I put the titanium ones there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You also have the twin boot cut exhaust uh, carbon there, and it even goes and has side exhaust too. So there's a lot of different ways you can make this car your own unique car. As well as the carbon big tip, two of them, and a quad, a carbon quad exhaust in the back as well. Uh, I think they're all really cool. It has a bunch of fender options as well, 13 in total. And basically, you can make your, the arches in the car look the way you want them to. And really get to make it your own type of car. Then it has, you know, a ton of options as well for the grill. It'd be chrome, colored, carbon, changes the style of the grill as well. The hood is one of the places where I thought it was actually really cool where you can actually remove the hood in this one. So no hood, you can even see a little belt in there turning in the engine, which is really cool. Uh, <clears throat> the one I chose out of all of these, there's so many, and I mean, there's so many ways you could do it. You'll probably change at some point later if you want a different look for it. But I, I chose the actual vanity hood, which you can actually has a window so you can see the engine on the inside there. And there's even some parts like this one, the blower hood for the kind of super racing feel. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, of course, regular lights it has a ton of liveries for it. And this is where some of the car parts will actually work together. If you go to the one that's the checker fade um, livery right there, you see like the weenie uh, actual wording is on the engine block. So if you take it off or you put the little window there and you pick the checker fade one, you see like these parts even work together with the other parts as far as the hoods, you know, as well, which I think is really cool to have it on there. See, and there's another one in there. You have sponsors on it on the actual engine itself too which I think is really cool even down to the rust where you see the rust is actually rusted on the engine as well I think that's actually really sensational and except that they did that it's really cool they had all that stuff work together um the roof it has a bunch of different types of roofs uh, uh, on the roof as well see it has a carbon even a wood vinyl roof sticker bomb roof checkerboard roof mosaic roof there's a bunch of cool things side skirts has a bunch of those too and uh, you see you can even put sticky bombs so you could really do the sticker bomb accessories all over the car they're in all the different places which is, i think is actually really cool spoilers <clears throat> is where it actually gets fun too because you can customize it make it your own i actually put the ski rack on there because you know don't see much of that thought it was cool you can put anywhere from a surfboard luggage you know then it actually does have real spoilers as well it's not just a joke funny Long car uh, where you could actually make it look a little, you know, modern, right? Like race, you could make it look like it's actually gonna go somewhere in race. Has a big GT wing, like that. I mean, and everything. 
<clears throat> as well as uh, the the actual well parts of the card you can customize. There's other cool features of it as well. Now I went. Oh, you know what I'm. You know what I forgot. I need to do. I actually need to upgrade my wheels. Yes. Tire enhancements. Bulletproof tires are also on sale right now as well. Basically, uh, what I want to show you guys is one other feature of this car that I really liked and I found out about the other day. And basically, what you can do with it, you can go to places where you can't know the car. Because if you think about it, this car is really small, as you can tell. I love the way the car sounds, by the way, too. See, the car does sound really cool. Um, the car sounds really cool, and it can do a whole lot of things as well. Now, one thing I wanted to show you, one advantage of getting this car, which I think even makes its drivability much more fun, is actually, you know, you can do things that you couldn't do in others. They do have a new adversary mode come out. I think it's called the Vespucci job. And basically, it's supposed to be like the Italian job, or if you played Grand Theft Auto 4, they had, uh, what was it, uh, Cops and Crooks. Or it's a version of that where you have to escape, but you do need to have your own customized personal one, really, to get to get it going in that in, in that new adversary bone. So that's why it's, it's, it's really good to buy. You basically, it doesn't cost much. You go here to Southern San Andreas Autos. It's right here, and it's very cheap, $360,000. So it's really not that much money compared to most of the other cars that are out. You know, uh, if you look, 300000 Now, the Camacho wasn't that it was, it's a little more expensive than the Camacho, but as you saw, it has many more customization options. The Camacho has a ton itself as well. But it's cheaper than most other cars in here. And um, it came in the update. What did they call the update? They actually called the update, what is it, the Super? Yeah, San Andreas Super Sport Series. And it's actually really cool with the race that comes along with it. This is the other feature of the car that I really, really like. See, now, you can go up steps. Steps that you would not be able to go up in any other car. And see, it'll do a little engine that could get up, get up, get up there, and it made it. And see, it's really cool because you could do that with plenty of steps and different things like that all around the city. So, like, if you want to go and have like, a little car show or something up at a place where nobody can get to you, nobody can bother you, you know, have a little car show with everybody's little, uh, <laughs> little easy and everything like that. It's pretty cool. Um, I, I found it to be really fun just driving this car around, being able to get to and from places that you normally wouldn't be able to get to if you were uh, doing basically anything else. You know, it could fit in a lot smaller spaces that other cars couldn't where you wouldn't get stuck. And you know those poles that just sit places in the middle of the city and stop your car and, and like suddenly, very quickly? This car actually is able to go through them. It's so small. Now, the one thing which I wish, I really wish they would have done with this, uh, at least uh, for when going down the subway because see that's something that I always done wanted to do with cars But then unfortunately, you know if you try to go down the subway through the actual Terminal it's kind of hard to do because of the fact that you have um, The little toll uh, the toll booth. Well, not toll booth. It's like where you would take tokens the little turnstiles that they have Because otherwise without that you could literally drive straight down into the subway because you can go up and down steps in this car So it is really fun and cool uh, as far as that goes, but I wish, I really wish there was a way to get past those turnstiles and you could actually even have a race that goes down into the subway, which I think would be a pretty cool thing. Um, so that's about it for you guys, but this is something else I have wanted to show you guys. You see how, like, a lot of cars get stuck on these poles? Now, these poles are a little wider, but, um, there are a lot around the city that are a lot smaller that you can't fit and squeeze in between, like right here, for example. Let's see, it goes right by no problem. You can even go straight down into the subway with this car, which I think is one of the coolest things. And this is the part I was talking about that it's hard for you to actually get past. Because this would be fun, having to race it down the subway. Is the turnstiles here? I wish that there was a way to get by the turnstile. I really do. Like, if you could knock through that fence or something, like a little gate or something, that would be awesome to be able to get down into the subway. But um, even so, it's still a really great car. It's, you know, not expensive. There's a ton of customization options of it. A ton of stuff to do as far as you see, like I'm flying up the steps here and whatnot. Like, it's really cool. It's a really cool car. I recommend getting it, especially if you're gonna try the new adversary mode, uh, the Vespucci job. All right, guys, uh, like the video if it helped you. You know, uh, you drop it a like. If you wanna see more videos like this, then you can subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out new videos um, periodically, usually I put out a couple of weeks, something like that. Uh, let me know, guys. Let me know, guys, in the comments what you would like to see more of. 
um, suggestions as well are accepted in questions. I'll try to answer them as best I can for you guys. Um, and uh, stay tuned for some more videos, and I'll catch you guys the next time. And um, subscribing, if you subscribe, you'll get to see some of the other videos that I was talking about with the other new cars that came out, by the way. One more thing before I left, I wanted to show you. I did make videos on the other vehicles that have come out on this update. The other vehicles are uh, the Vapid Flash GT, which is uh, right here. It's a little rally car. As well as you go to Elita's Travel, and there's one about the Sea Sparrow, which costs one point eight million dollars close to around the same as the Flash GT on um, the Vapid Flash GT. The Sea Sparrow, you'll see if you look at the video that I made about it, the features of it. It's a pretty cool helicopter. Does uh, something that others don't do. So if you uh, haven't seen that video, take a look at that one too. It might be worth you know your time, especially if you're grinding out and doing missions and things like that. Alright guys, that's it for today. Just wanted to show you how the car works, how fun it was to drive, and everything. Hope you liked it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Catch you guys later.